<clears throat> hey what's up y'all all right so i just want to you know send you guys this message basically like i watch a lot of youtube i'm on youtube as of late you know since this whole like pandemic i've been on youtube but i haven't been on youtube as much you know so i've been on youtube because i don't even follow mainstream media anymore um it's just a bunch of lies um that's something that we all should know and if you don't believe that you need to go educate yourself you need to understand that when you're watching all this mainstream media this television you know this pro this programming you have to understand the motives behind it so i've come to learn that the tv the mainstream media is nothing but a propaganda machine they just give up a bunch of lies so i've turned to youtube as of late so since i've been since this whole pandemic nonsense has been happening you know a lot of a lot of um journalists have been um popping up per se a lot of journalists have been popping up independent journalists have been popping up um not along the lines of what they normally do but they've since like changed their whole their whole um focus around the pandemic and you know what's happening the mask and all of that stuff uh social distancing the so-called new normal these so-called uh killer shots that's gonna that's supposedly coming out you know amongst other things there's a lot of stuff happening right now and that you all should know that there's nothing to be afraid of um there's really nothing to be afraid of you know you, you, there's nothing to be afraid of but this message is basically to say I've been watching a lot of these independent journalists and some of them aren't in the US some of them are outside of the US and but they talk about the events that's happening here in the US I guess because they got away or whatever or they may have been away and um, you know things just started unfolding while they were away so now they're saying, oh, you have to get out of the get out of the states, get out of the states, and stuff like that. Leave from where you are. And you know, it's just not realistic for a lot of people to just up and uproot themselves and you know go relocate somewhere else. It's just not realistic. You know, um, aside from get, uh, <laughs> leaving the uh, the states, how are you going to get there? You know, if you're struggling already here in the states, how the hell are you going to get there? You know, the, most of the freaking borders are closed. You can't fly out nowhere. Um, some of them, not all, you know, except for a few uh, international destinations. But it's just, it doesn't make any sense. You know what I'm saying? Um, you're here for a reason. Like, you're in this location. You're in this geographic area. You're in your neighborhood. You are in... Whatever you are in at this very moment in your life, whatever job you're doing, whatever situation that you may find yourself in right now, you're there for a reason. The divine has placed you there for a reason. This is in your cards. If it was in your cards to be somewhere else in another um, geographical uh, location in the on the earth, you would be there. You know what I'm saying? You would be there. So why uproot yourself and, and, and go somewhere where you potentially don't belong? You're in the space that you are in because of whatever reason. You know, we all have our roles to play in the society right now, at this very moment. We all have just now. We don't have tomorrow. We don't have yesterday. Everything is now. Yesterday is tomorrow, and tomorrow is today. Everything is what? You have to understand that. So, <clears throat> to uproot yourself to, from, from where you are, to go somewhere else, that's, that's, that's bizarre. You know, let's be realistic. You know, we have a voice. Use your voice. Influence influence those around you. If you can. Not everybody is hip and under and, and and educated about what's really happening. There's so many people that follow the mainstream media, they're blind. They don't know what the hell is going on out here. They think, okay, whatever the mainstream media says is fine. It's perfectly fine. They don't understand that that's a crock of bull. You know what I'm saying? But they that's what they follow because they have nothing else to follow. Their eyes have not been opened yet. Okay? That might be up to you to go and do that. That might you might be the catalyst for that individual. You know, understand that. We have our role to play. I'm sending this message out to y'all because at 
this very moment, I feel like whoever needs this message is going to get this message. So don't be afraid. Um, step back from social media. Step back from the mainstream media. CNN, everybody watches CNN. Everybody's hypnotized by the numbers on the side of the screen. Turn that shit off. That's it. Turn it off. Go outside. <laughs> In a minute, they want to lock y'all down again. They want to lock y'all down again. They want the businesses to shut down again. Y'all understand? Y'all understand the repercussions that this is going to have amongst everybody in society? You know, even the food lines. I have never seen a food line so long in all of my years. I have never. But up until then, recently, the lines have been getting longer and longer. You know, it's, it, it, it may get real, but, you know, with the help of everybody, it might not get real. Because the more people that wakes up and educates themselves um, about the times that we're in right now, yo, it's the better of our future will be. The future that these people got planned for us, it don't have to happen. But because we are because we are a collective, when we get that collective visualization, they keep pushing this agenda of um, getting them these killer shots. We're going to have this killer shot. So not everybody is expecting killer shots and everybody's expecting a second wave. This is the global conscience we're talking about. This is a global image. This is a global image. This is a collective image that everybody is holding in their mind. You know, this is a battle right now. Who's going to win? This is a battle. Who's going to win? Understand that. You know, so yeah, don't leave. Don't go nowhere. For what? Because wherever you go ain't going to be no better than where, where, where you left from. You know what I'm saying? And if it's not bad right now, best believe later on it might be worse. So I said all I have to say. Stick around. Have no fear. Be in your power. Be in your square. Okay? Love yourself. Love everyone around you. Okay? And just play your role. You ain't got nothing to worry about. We got this. All right? Peace. Gotta go.